Look at that. Honestly, dude, we dominated the playoff. Like, if you look at the final scores, it was literally, not even figuratively, 5-1 and 4-0. We broke the league record in the National League for most goals scored. We are an exciting team. We are an exciting team. Records, modern day. Uh, wow, there was a 20,000 attendance game in this league. Are you, are you, are you literally, literally kidding me? Most overall goals by a player in a season. Matt Tubbs had 37. Dude, we were not far away. <gasps> Dude! Marcus Sheldon broke, broke, broke the record for most assists in a season in the National League with 18. That is the record. That's not even the record I was looking for, which is team goals 108 for Taunton Town. The team went pro. Yeah, we went pro right at the end of the stream yesterday. It happens immediately after the promotion was guaranteed. Uh, we are going up. Hamzad Kargbo, even though he's retired now, had the highest average rating in most player of match wards in a season in National League history. Sheldon breaking the assist record. Training facility is approved. Actually, we should be able to, except for Oduka. Oduka is going to leave. Say yes to the dress. Lewis signing confirmed. I don't know if I want you anymore, Paul, but you are on a non-contract. A record high finish for Taunton. Did the fans finally view you as a C? Yeah, I think we're still a C plus in the fans' eyes. It never moves. Uh, Border pleased with the deal to sign Beecroft, getting the player to agree to a lower salary than would have been expected to pay for someone of his ability. That is essentially the art of building our entire team. Although I appreciate it. We also brought in Trey Lucas, who scored 37 goals all comps. Yeah, I think so. Um... Patrick Kelly from the West Ham Academy was good. James Roach from the West Ham Academy was... He had 13 assists as well. We were feeding. Jarrell Kwanza, he came from Hednesford. Wow, that's just like stealing from the poor there. Average home attendance, 44% full. God, yes. Trey Lucas led us in the league with 29. Led us in the league with 29. This run right here, yikes. That We, we literally did that. We literally did this run and then that run <laughs> to end the season. It was like, yeah, we won two of four, six. We won two of eight and then won four, six, seven, seven of eight. We won two of eight, then won seven of eight to end the year. It's a Jekyll and Hyde, real Jekyll and Hyde set of performances here. FA Cup knocked out in the second round. FA Trophy, which we will never play in again. We lost in the quarterfinal. I honestly would never want to because, my goodness, my team didn't have the fitness, the ability to withstand the FA Trophy. Goal of the season? I really do want to watch that. They gave it to Delano, and he didn't score a lot of goals. Oh, this was against Maidstone yesterday. This was against Maidstone yesterday. Let's go. Let's go on in, huh? Delano McCoy splat 45 plus one. This was to send us to the uh, third place in the league was what this was for. Zing. I mean, it's honestly like it's a really good goal. I'm kind of surprised out of the 108 goals we scored. It is the goal of the season. But Delano spanked that one. I was very, very well hit. Good goal. Goal of the season from Delano McCoy, Splat the Third. Sponsorship, competition, prize, money up, match day, commercial revenue, way up. And no new sponsorship deals. So that's cool. Club reputation is now regional instead of local. We sold 314 jerseys. Trey Lucas was the leading seller. Then Campton Sturridge. Then Roach. Then Sheldon. Then Harrison Neal. Team of the year, probably unsurprisingly. Oh, they, they, Marcus Sheldon broke the league assist record and didn't make the team of the year. Jimmy Roach, DJ, and Trey Lucas were the team of the year. Neil Kelly Powell was the midfield. Taylor Kwanza, B. Croft, Lazala, the back four. And uh, Keeley, obviously, the only. <laughs> Keeley played all 56 matches. We did not play another goalkeeper all year. I won manager of the month in August, and that was it. Harsh. Might win the one in March, too. Or May. I forget. I hate months. Fans player of the season, Trey Lucas. Young player of the season, Boyd Beecroft signing of the season. Delano won goal of the year. Trey led us in goals. Sheldon had 20 assists, all comps. Trey was nine-time player of the match and highest average rating. 
Sean Green completed 38 passes for 90 for the most useless award ever. Most goals by a player. Nick McCooney. Ugh. Breaking records and he's, he's retired. Youngest player was Jimmy Roach. Really? At 18 years, 145 days, Jimmy Roach is the youngest player ever. Highest transfer fee received, Jack Singa and Goyi for 17 and a half thousand. And youngest goal scorer, obviously Jimmy Roach. He's the youngest player there. Just me signing a bunch of guys. The timeline could be so much better than it is. Discuss plans. Hi, team. Absolutely delighted with the promotion this season. You've all done really well, but I'll need to strengthen the squad in the offseason if we're to avoid getting involved in a relegation battle. That. No! Oh, my God. This is probably mandated, right? We've announced plans to enlarge our stadium by 1,500 seats that will cost $2 million. Yeah, in order to comply with league requirements. Oh, God. Uh, we've been granted a million of the dollars uh, by the authorities. Just the authorities. So they're paying for half the stadium. It's going to take six months to complete. The capacity will be temporarily reduced as one of the stands will be closed during renovation. But we're at it. Yeah. We have to unload that stadium was literally too small. Ah! Uh, very pleased to announce plans to turn professional in place. So hope to officially announce this by July of 2026. Okay, cool. Affiliate. Uh, networking affiliate club. Uh, dude, senior affiliate. What am I doing? There, that. I've been dreaming of this day. Or we could have as many loans as possible. Networking. Please <laughs> ask for another one. Please tell me that means they're looking for two. I'm going to cry if it does. Or we might have just found an infinite senior glitch. Oh, no, we can't ask anymore. <laughs> Where is Shaq? There he is, wanted by Rochdale. Pfft, they, oh wow, really? I'm, now I'm gonna lose him to a League One team? Don't think so. I am desperate for Shaq. After 50 league appearances? Oh my goodness, dude. Well, it worked. I, the re I'm taking that, I don't think he wants to talk to me. I don't think, he, don't get excited. I don't think he wants to talk to me. I can't sign full-time contracts yet, but we will re-offer full-time contracts to these guys when we can because it allows them to train full-time. And that's like kind of definitely very important. All right, because we can't offer a full-time contract. That makes sense. We can't offer a full-time contract yet. We got to get to pro soon. I always just take the contract they give me. Because I'm incentivized to have it low. With the, the club playing in Skyway League 2, the board decided to make the step up to fully professional. They've indicated that all staff and players here will be required to move on to full-time contracts in the near future. And we've increased the amount of staff that we have available to hire. It hit. It frigging hit. We are a professional club that went up a half-star in reputation. What do you mean, no senior affiliate? This is going to be fun. Okay, we have to start with renegotiating pro deals. So first, we'll start with Roach. I right, shut up. Shut up about the facilities. Good God, man. I love you so much, dude. Green is on a part-time contract. Keeley. Let's see what Keeley wants. Never mind. Uh, this is fun. Patrick, you're okay, right? Yeah, we're good. We're fans, especially losing Harrison Neal. We're going to need this guy to be around. Okay. I, I actually play you in that role. So, <laughs> okay. This has gone superbly so far. All right, good. I lowered his uh, expected playing time before going into the negotiation. And he wants improvements to training facilities. Regular starter we can live with. Oh, that was so easy. Okay, I honestly, I could negotiate even harder than this. 
Hopefully that resets it. It did. Okay. First choice goalkeeper. I'll give player, I'll give you a big pay raise. Doesn't care. Wants to be an important player. 17. Thank you. Keeley's coming in on a fully professional contract. Ingwao Oduka's on the way out. He went from a, you know, non-contract guy to a contract guy. He gets an ovation. You know, he gets an ovation. James Roach pins and... The first ever professional full-time contract at Taunton Town signed by Jimmy James Roach. Signing on until 2029. Full-time deal at Taunton Town. Oh my god. Yo! Keon Edwards up in this. What do you mean you have to? What is, okay, what is the approach to sign here? Star player, improved coaching team, improved training facilities. Give him number 10 <laughs> and improve the midfield. I can't do the last one. Okay, cool. I'm going to be able to do it. He might actually have a deal that he's okay with. Relegation release clause, minimum fee release clause of 150,000. Dude, that would that's a significant amount of money. I don't hate that. Okay. Cuz we also added the relegation release clause. Oh, yes. Keon Edwards. Now, what was the part of that? What's the compensation? 0. Okay. But does it add a sell on anything? I don't think it does. I don't think there's any compensation, so we can just swoop in right now. This is a joke, bro. This is a fucking joke. He deliberated greatly before accepting Dagenham and Redbridge's offer over ours, with it being a very close call for him to make. He feels that Dagenham and Redbridge's squad is stronger than ours. Shaq forgot to get. No, we did offer for him earlier. We just, uh, this guy is so freaking good. Like, how is he in the sixth division right now? I'm going to offer this and they're going to be like, nope. Oh, okay. 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 That was the offer we agreed to before. Ford's very interested in. Yes. Yes! Oh my god. So happy. So happy. No, no, dude, shut up. He's like 22. Discuss new contract with Boyd. I'm gonna take a look at it. I'll take a look at it. What do you want? He's going to ask for that, and then I'll say, like, two years regular starter. There we go, baby! There we go. Relegation release clause. He wants a two-year deal. Move a lot more than you did. That wasn't as good as I could have gotten. We're going to need to lock one center back down because I don't trust Green at this level. Let's... <laughs> it took two years... It took two years to get Shaq Ford onto this team. Over under a hundred goals this year. Look at the passing, dude. Look at the size. Look at the touch, the finishing. He's not unathletic. Oh, here a guy we've been scouting for a while that fits the way we play. So perfectly, dude. So, so perfectly. Oh, take you all the way off the list. Muhammad Akbari. Oh, he has great potential. Yeah, you can go break through prospect and sign him for less. He's also young. I know he can't develop potential, but his potential is like way high. EFL Cup first round. Give me Man City away. We can beat Plymouth. We can beat Plymouth Argyle. I believe. 
Living and learning. Oh my god, prospering. What do you want? Everything. I want everything. How much money do you want? Oh, you don't want anything. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, these guys are easy to grab. They just want the playing time and they're all over it. Okay. Kavanaugh rejected Air United. Oh, Muhammad Akbari's like, I'm in, man. Liverpool youth player for the Afghanistan national team. Mohamed Akbari in the team. It's perfectly fine. Dude's definitely a right back deep cover option. He is never playing center back in his life. That's okay. Uh, how's his other foot? It was pretty good, right? Yeah, play left back. This is a sad day. DJ camped at Sturridge. We absolutely loved him. He made plays for us. He bagged goals both seasons, and he scored five goals in the playoff. A player that will live long in the memory, but a player that has decided his future lay elsewhere after a round and effective couple of performances. Also, Jack Powell has decided that it is time to leave after two years. He was a divisive player, but you cannot argue the fact that this guy scored some banger goals, scored the goal of the season in his first year at the club and was a, a crucial part of the season that got us promoted. Kapowell is gone. Joshi Andrews, who found his role severely different in his second season. He was signed midway through the first season and played 30 games. He found a role last season, and we appreciate his performances. He found a role last season and performed, you know, in a pinch for us. Oh, this one hurts. This one hurts. Oh, how we loved Harrison Neal. How this dude was like the first name on the team sheet for two years. Harrison Neal on the way out. This is a real changing of the guard from our National League heroes that helped bring us up. Harrison Neal, just two years of non, like we rotated him heavily, obviously, because midfield is tough. Ty Barnett, our first real senior national team player for Trinidad and Tobago. Never scored a league goal for us, but he did score. He scored a lot of cup goals, I feel like. Yeah, he scored three cup goals in six cup matches this year and then scored three cup goals in five cup matches the year before. Cup hero Ty Barnett, a rotational midfielder and winger. I mean, this really is a this is a real core of our team. And then this guy, Delano McCoy Splat. One of those players who finds a role, right? His first year, he was never a regular player, but grew into himself last year. He's a darn good player, and he he also deserves an ovation. It's rare that every player released is deserving of an ovation, but all these guys played a ton of minutes for us. They played a ton of minutes for us and brought us up. That brings us to where we are now, which is just a few issues, which isn't bad. I'm asking for too much. Um, he's willing to lower his amount of money that he's asking for, um, and we'll give you a non-promotion release clause of 80K. Now you're okay with that. All right. Well, uh, we'll go deal with that right now. I'm just deciding what to do with Jacob Wright. Uh, he wants star player and improvement to the training facilities. Do I have good news for you? Oh, he wants important player. Okay, that was easy. Um, but this is also that you'll take like a nice low deal. I'll pay your agent a lot of money. Good God. <laughs> That's reasonable. Lewis Richards in. Okay, this guy love his ability to facilitate from out wide. He's smart. He works his butt off. He's not super fast, but he is tall, which is super valuable for us because you need you need that. You freaking need that. Take it. Freaking take the deal, man. I'm going to improve the facilities. We're going to start making money. How about regular starter? Ooh, as long as I improve the facilities, you'll take regular starter. Send it! Oh, baby. Got it. Let's see. He's probably going to get poached, right? He's probably going to get poached by somebody else. 
Oh, this guy's supposed to be good. Boston United have put an offer in for him, so I'm going to compete with that offer by giving him an offer of my own, and then we'll finish the trial and see how good he is. Strategery going on, and they're not pro. We are pro, so 18. Oh, my God, that's insane. It is so powerful. There's so much weight behind our non-promotion release clause, and it's not even at zero. It's like 100K. Can do everything well, versatile, Fits on the left side where we wanted to initially put Lakyle. What do you want? Squad. Oh, no way he took that. Oh, wow. I love you so much, dude. I'm scared he's going to red me out here. Oh, I am so good at this. Plays in the Hungarian U21 national team. I didn't have that one on my bingo card, but he doesn't want a lot of money, which is nice. Um... I knew I I knew I'd get you to come around to under twenty thousand a year. Probably gonna get sniped on him too. Chris Moore. Who are the teams? Everybody that's not me that would want it. Um stepping stone, we'll keep that in there. That we are a stepping stone club for my boy. I mm, that's it. Don't want to pay you any other fees. And Chris Moore is okay with that. I could have gone a lot lower than that, honestly. He's like, you know what? I can leave immediately. That's for sure. Well, when Stanley got an offer from Eastley. Let's take a look. Shocked he took that, but I guess he's getting an offer from a team in the division below. So this is... That didn't expect him to take that at all. All right, we're going to save it up for today. That's where we're going to leave it. Um, good progress, I think. Obviously, we're frustrated. We had to turn over so much of the squad. We lost a really good chunk of it, but I think we've got some good offers out.